Hello ladies and gentlemen this is Prathamesh Veling and welcome you all to this next video. Today we will be talking about why entrepreneurs fail. Let's understand before we get into three factors let's understand what is the real definition is entrepreneurship only about building the businesses creating the startups or is entrepreneurship about mindset if entrepreneurship is about mindset if you get that thing right that will actually help you build businesses that can sustain grow and be scalable in future three reasons why entrepreneurs fail number 1 is knowing your market a lot of time entrepreneurs do this mistake where they feel that the product that they have created is so massive is so amazing that it will be well accepted into the market but that's not the reality what we need to understand is number 1 is market looking for that product number 2 is there a need for that product or a desire or a want for that product which category your product falls into it is actually making a consumer's life easy or maybe it is adding a lifestyle factor to it understanding the market the geographical conditions the psychology of the consumers the buying pattern of the consumers the launch of the product makes no sense and often there is a target market for every product and there is a product for every target market the real failure happens when there is a mismatch in understanding and positioning of the particular product so knowing your market is the most critical factor number 2 lack of vision nowadays entrepreneurship has become a buzzword startup has become a buzzword where people want to go for it or i would rather say entrepreneurship is sexy it does sounds like that but there is a lot and a lot and a lot of hard work passion perseverance character building of an entrepreneur that goes inside the process if your vision is clear about what you are doing and why you are doing it you will sail through all the ups and downs which are coming in your way because entrepreneurship is definitely not easy especially the first 1000 days where your product is new your market is new you are new as an entrepreneur all this equation all these factors in a simplex equation needs to be matched properly and when you are in downs what help you is your vision and understanding why the why element is very important why did you started what you started are you believing what you have believed in when you started i would like to recommend a book to all the aspiring entrepreneurs written by the expert of the why his name is mr simon sinek and the book name is start with why you should read that book to understand and build your vision strongly if you have a strong vision if you are considering a strong vision and starting a business accordingly the products will get pivot together in the due course of time the services might get pivot in due course of time you might able to spin off some of the services you might have to shut down some of the products and services and come up with a new but if your vision is stronger that is going to help you lack of vision ladies and gentlemen is the second thing why entrepreneurs fail number 3 is not accepting constructive criticism it is very easy to fall in love with what you have created it is very easy to believe that what you have created is what will be well appreciated in the market but the things are not like that when we take our product and services to the market we have to consider what the market is trying to tell us what the consumers are trying to tell us through their feedback through the word of mouth and most importantly what are the experts opinion in that domain if you come from an angle where you feel that i want to create a disruption in the market that's good but at the same time what we need to understand is for a product to become a successful there are thousand factors which play a very vital role and every single step that you take you will find criticism look for the constructive criticism appreciate the person who has given you a constructive criticism and try to work on that no product or a service at start will ensure a success and a scalability in the coming time it will go through a lot of challenges a lot of pivoting and you should be ready for that and to get that input constructive criticism and the people who give constructive criticism are the best input for your business so rather than dejecting their thoughts accept them and ensure that you are utilizing their inputs in 
in your product so that it can be modified according to the market and so on and so forth. Three reasons, ladies and gentlemen, that people fail is number one, we have covered not knowing the market, number two, lack of vision, and number three, ex not accepting constructive criticism. I'm sure this video has helped you and added some value to your knowledge portfolio. Looking forward to see you in the next video. This is Prathamesh Felling signing off.